Welcome to our channel, my dear students. Today we are going to talk about the very important topic that is semi carboxyl containing two amino groups, but only one amino group is reactive. Why? So, first of all, if you want to know about this concept, we need to understand what is the structure, what is the reaction of semi carboxyl with the carbonyl compounds. Okay. So we have to understand what is a semi carboxyl. This is a structure of semi carboxyl NH2, N, H, QRC, double band O, N, H2. This is what the structure of semi carboxyl. Whenever the um, it is a kind of ammonia derivative, okay? Ammonia derivative. Are you able to understand? Ammonia derivative, okay? Whenever the ammonia derivative is getting reacted with the carbonyl compounds, okay, uh, I think so. We already discussed about this uh, in a separate video, like the carbonyl compounds and ammonia derivatives. If you don't know about this concept, please go and watch the trick to find the product when the ammonia derivative which is going to react with carbonyl compounds. Okay, just I'll uh, explain you. So if suppose if one carbonyl compound is there, say for example CH3, C double band O, H3, one aldehyde is there, one, uh, what is that, uh, ammonia derivative is there, okay. So how these ammonia derivative and uh, aldehydes are reacting together to form a product. Let us check how it is. So here uh, N, H2, C double band O, N, H, here N, H2 that I am writing this compound I will be writing here and one more thing O double bond C and here it is H and here it is CH3 whenever the ammonia derivative is reacting with carbonyl compounds it's a simple trick it's not a mechanism it's a simple trick to find the product how to write the product so I will be getting a product that is N H2 C double band O N H here N and double bond C CH3 here it is H so here it is nothing but a semi carboxyl semi carboxyl so what is the product I got it is a acetaldehyde semi carboxone it is a semi carboxone of acetaldehyde it is a semi carboxone carboxone of ethanol semi carboxone of ethanol I got as a product of. So here in which, out of which this nitrogen will be only involving in this reaction. This nitrogen only involving in the reaction. These two nitrogen will not involve in the reaction. Why? That is the question they are asking. Okay. Let's discuss why it is these two nitrogens are not involving and why this nitrogen is involving. Okay. Let's and listen here students. Here this nitrogen only involving in the reaction that we discussed and here these two nitrogens are not involving in the reaction why this is what the reason here NH2 is there NH2 is there C double band O group is there okay that is going to involving in resonance because it has two lone pair of electrons it donate the electrons that's what the shift may be like this and here NH n h2 okay if it go like this i'll be getting a product what is that that is n here it is h2 because of donation of electron it got positive charge are you able to understand and here i got double bond and here bond is break here it is single bond and o minus is there okay and here n h here n h2 is there are you able to understand this is involving in a resonance because one nearby one are carbonyl group is there that involving in resonance to stabilize this nitrogen okay likewise if suppose uh, this nitrogen for this nitrogen we discussed and for this nitrogen how would it be so here uh, n h2 c double band o n h here n h2 suppose this nitrogen will donate the same reaction will happen what time things that is n h2 C it is O minus here double bond is there N H 
because of it donates lone pair of electron that's what it has positive charge and here it is nh2 that is what this nitrogen is stabilized and this nitrogen is also stabilized because of that adjacent carbonyl compound are you able to understand because of adjacent carbonyl compound these two nitrogens are stabilized only this nh2 will be free that will be easy to react that is what this nitrogen only reactive these two nitrogens are not reactive are you able to understand it has the semi carboxyl this is a semi carboxyl it contain two i mean three amino groups 1 2 3 out of which only one is reactive this one is reactive these two are not reactive because of that resonance are you able to understand i think so you understand very well thank you so much for watching please go forward to others to get benefit and don't forget to subscribe this channel thank you so much for watching thank you